Now most of you guys have seen these shapes before. Okay? A couple different pages with some different shapes on them. And they're probably not new to you guys. Okay? <coughs> now, there are two things though that we need to talk about before we actually talk about um, the names of the shapes. And they are what is a side? And what is a corner? Now when we look at a shape, a side is one of the straight lines on the edge. One of the straight lines. Okay. If it's a curved line, it's not a side. Okay. So this is a side. This is a side. This is a side because it's a straight line on the edge of our shape, okay? A corner is the point where two of these sides come together. See how they meet each other? That is called a corner. Now let's look at this shape right here. How many sides do I have? On e they all have the same number of sides. How many sides are there on these shapes? Hmm. Three. Does anybody know the name of a shape that has three sides? A triangle. <coughs> Any shape that has three sides and three corners. Look, one corner, two corners, three corners. One corner, two corners, three corners. One corner, two corners, three corners. Any shape that has three sides and three corners is a triangle. They all don't look exactly the same, do they? This one's wider at the bottom. This one's skinny and turned around. Okay, this one's skinnier and going straight up. They don't have to be the same size. They don't even have to be facing the same way. But if a shape has three sides and three corners, it's always going to be a Now, I want to show us a couple other shapes. Now, I'm going to give you a hint. Two of these are one shape. Two of these are another kind of shape. Okay. First off, how many sides do all of these shapes have? Remember, a side is a straight line. I'm going to write inside here. How many sides do we have on this one? And this one, and this one, and this one. Caleb. Four? Four. How many corners do we have? Look, we have a side right here, side right here, side right here, side right here. How many corners are there? Remember, corners are where these two sides meet, <laughs> where they come together, where the lines run into each other. If these were streets, we'd have to have a traffic signal right there. <laughs> Hmm, Logan. Four. four. Yeah, four sides and four corners. Now here's what we're going to do. Guess what all four of these are? They are all rectangles. Okay. They're all rectangles. They all have four sides. They all have four corners. And see these corners? See how they're all the same? They're all like straight. They're all kind of like if you made a straight L and turned it around. When you get older, you'll find out that's called a right angle. And when you measure it, it's all 90 degrees. But for right now, see how they're, 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 like, a, they're like an L, okay? They're all the same. You'll also learn that these sides are what's called perpendicular and these sides are what's called parallel. A bunch of stuff that you'll learn as you get older and it'll be easy for you. But right now, you just have to know that all of these angles, they're the same. There's four sides and four corners. They're all rectangles. 
and when I said they're all rectangles, I saw a couple kids shaking their heads, saying no, like, like, like as to tell me, Mr. Lambert, I think you're mistaken. I don't think they're all rectangles. Because I make mistakes, don't I? You guys know that. I say the wrong things and have to fix myself, or I say the wrong things and you guys have to fix it. But who can raise their hand and tell me why they don't think all of these are rectangles? Why are they not? Why are they not all rectangles? Campbell, you were the first person I saw who shook her head no. Okay, why aren't they all rectangles? Okay, well, I heard you say some of them are squares. So, and some of them go down. Well, just like with triangles, it doesn't matter the side or which way they face. A rectangle is a rectangle as long as there's four sides, four corners, and all of these corner angles are the same. So this is a rectangle, and this is a rectangle, even though it looks like we took this one and squished it down in its little one. They're still rectangles. But I heard you say squares. Well, this is a square. And this is a square. But guess what? A square is still a rectangle. It's a special kind of rectangle. It's a rectangle where if I took a ruler and measured, all of these sides would measure the same. And I did that when I made them. I took these squares, and these were two inches. I took a ruler, two inches, two inches, two inches. Two inches, two inches, two inches, two inches. So these are squares. These are rectangles. They both have four sides. They both have four corners. But a square is just a special kind of rectangle. What makes a square different from another rectangle is a square, all four sides are the same length. If I take my ruler and measure it, they're all going to measure the same. Okay. One more shit. And you guys know what's this called? It's called a circle. circle. <coughs> now, if I have this circle here, how many sides does a circle have? Be careful. Remember what we talked about what a side was. How many sides does a circle have, Kaylee? Zero. Because remember a square, or sorry, a side is a straight line. A straight line on the edge of our shape. Are there any straight lines here? Zero sides.